What's going on guys this is Miron and welcome to the new video tutorial. In this video tutorial I am going to show you how to create user registration form in Java using MySQL database. So let's do it. Open up NetBean ID. Go to file. Click on new project. And then select Java. Java application. Click next. Give the name of the project. And then click finish. So we are going to develop a JFrame application. So right click over your project, click on new, click on JFrame form. You can either give the name of the class like and then click on finish. Now expand this JF form a little bit and from the palette drag and drop eight labels. Generally in user registration form that is first name, last name, address, gender, phone, email username and password so that's why we need 8 j label 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now drag and drop text field post name last name address here goes phone here goes username here goes password here goes email and for the gender we are going to use combo box now expand this text box little bit Now change the tab label name. Here goes first name. Here goes address. Here goes last name. Here goes gender. Here goes email. Here goes sorry phone here goes username and finally here goes password now right click this text field edit the text it is the text and again right click change the variable name here goes txt f name similar process for all text field here goes txt l name it's always good practice to give the name while you are doing a project because we can easily remember while you are writing the code And here goes CMB gender. Now right click over this combo box, go to property. Now we need to give some value. So click this model and here goes like male, female and others. Click OK, close. Now we need to drag and drop on button to save the all this value to the database. Change the text register. Now we just complete the simple user registration form. Now we need to create the database. So, first of all, uh, run your uh, server application like WAM server or JAM server. I am using WAM server. Now open any browser and go to localhost and then click PHP MyAdmin 
and the default username is root and password is nothing and click on go now we need to create the database so click on new user registration click on create now number of column is 8 here you can only give user and then click on go now here goes f name here goes l name here goes ADDR, here goes gender, here goes email, here goes phone, and here goes username, and finally here goes password. And now change the data type to barker, here goes barker, here goes barker, here goes barker, all the data type. should use back here now give the length like 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 now scroll down click on save now we are going to insert the value into this database so for this click on sql click on insert simply copy this query now go back to netbin double click this register first of all we need to use some classes over here so connection con is equal to null prepare statement pst is equal to null now simply click this connection and Press Alt and Enter from your keyboard and import. There you go. Now scroll down. Inside the clicking event of this register button, we are going to write code over here. First of all, let me use try and catch exception handling over here. Now insert the try block we are going to write the code A string query is equal to paste that recently copied query and here we need to pass the value so remove this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 replace that replace this value by 8 question marks now we need to connect this application with the database so connection is equal to driver manager dot get connection here goes jdbc sorry mysql to forward slash localhost and then your database name and here goes your php my admin username and password mine is root is username and password is empty this is the default username and password now pst is equal to con dot prepare statement here goes query now we are going to pass the value so pst dot set string here goes property one and the property one is replaced by this question marks and what we are going to replace this question marks with is txt f name dot get text So simply copy this and paste it 8 times and we are going to replace the property in value.
now here goes to here goes txt lm here goes 3 and here goes txt add here goes 4 here goes gender so cmb gender dot get selected item dot true string here goes 5 here goes txt email here goes 6 here goes txt phone here goes 7 here goes txt user here goes 8 here goes txt pass that's it now we need to run this query so pst dot execute update and we need to display the message to the user so j option pan dot so message dialog here goes null you are sorry registered successfully that's all now inside the catch block simply copy this and paste over here and here goes ex that's all now we need to add one library that is mysql connector for java i already download that file you can download it from mysql.com right click over that library click on add jar slash folder click that jar file click open now save this right click over that form and then click on run file now you need to give some value here like select the gender and address and email and phone and username and finally password I'm using text field as a password because I need to show you but you should not use this text field you can use password field in your project and click on register there you go register successfully now let's check whether this value is inserted in our database or not go back to database click on browse there you go there is first name last name address gender email phone username password so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this tutorial give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon because when i upload a new tutorial you will get notification so thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye